Okay, as we're getting ready to leave, the excitement has begun already. Okay, we all know that the Chan Man, he's a man. He drives a diesel. And I almost didn't want to show you this, but this channel is about honesty. So we have a mouse that I have to get, and they kind of freak me out. So I made sure that I have gloves to make sure I don't get any mouse ick on me. Two gloves, good. And, good. and then, just so I don't even have to touch the trap with the gloves, I've got pliers so I can keep a safe nine inch electrocution distance from the mouse. And then as I'm ringing with revulsion, I'm gonna put it in here. So let's catch it on film. <laughs> safety here so how many men in the audience are going come on mark just grab that thing you got to remember i was a mechanical engineer I, I sat at a desk with pencils so i'm not used to that i mean look at i'm having trouble with the tools here you're, you're you know? nervous <laughs> yeah oh here it is oh boy oh boy oh boy now I gotta open the trap because I'm also too cheap to throw it away. No, throw it away. No, really? no, no, no. We're gonna They're put new peanut dollar. butter on it. <laughs> they are less than a dollar, but. All right, okay. Look at that. Actually, it, I'm I'm pretty proud of myself that I. Is the, oh, whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Is the peanut butter gone? The peanut butter's on that one. The peanut butter's gone on that one, so at least he died happy. Yeah. He was probably squished and he thought, well, I might as well have a meal here. In his last second. Yeah. Oh, God, that's gross. All right. All right, right. this is a first for our journey in miles. We have never caught a mouse in our, uh, in our rig at all. Yeah. All right, it's May 5th, 2020, and we're at Valencia Travel Village in California. We've been here for six months, a little over six months, and today is the day we're heading out. So we're getting hooked up, slides are in, Mark is getting the car all hooked up, and then we're heading to the ocean. Pismo Beach, here we come. Trust it, we're taking it off. That's easy. Here we go. So before we headed out, we decided to backtrack a bit and go to pilot for a couple reasons. One, well, obviously we needed fuel, but also we had to check out at this park at noon, but we could not check into the park at Pismo until four o'clock, so that's like four hours. We figured it would take us maybe three hours to get there, so we had about an hour to kill, so why not go to Pilot?
So this is the first time we were ever at a pilot where each of the lanes not only tells you when it's open because sometimes there's such an obstructed view you really can't see what is you know behind and around some of these trucks but then the open uh, sign OPEN four digits that are all LED matrix turns into a countdown clock so when you want to pick a lane and you got a choice between a lane that's got one minute on the clock and one that's got 10 minutes on the clock you probably want to pick the 10 minute one assuming the guy's going to be out in 15 minutes you only got you know, a little over a four minute wait So we're all fueled up now and ready for our three-hour drive to Pismo. But first, we had to go past Valencia Travel Village again on our way, and Mark decided to have a little fun with our friend Cindy. You might notice how wobbly our video is. We have a new dash cam that has a, a camera in the front and the back. We're not real happy with this. Mark's working on it. Hey there. So we're coming, we're coming back from the stay and getting uh, diesel at Pilot. And we're going to be passing Valencia, and Mark just has to blow the horn and have an audience. So <laughs> we're, 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 Ask if she's excited as I am. All right. I have to say, this drive along Highway 126 is just beautiful to me. There's so many orchards and landscape nurseries and uh, fruit stands along the side. I just find this all so beautiful. I actually could say the same about the northern part of 101 and even Interstate 5. The agriculture in California is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going north, 101 to San Francisco. Right. On the 101 freeway, you'll see the historic El Camino Real bell markers. I found them fascinating. They actually mark the 700-mile route of the Mission Trail to 21 missions from San Diego all the way up to Sonoma. It started as just a footpath in 1769 and was begun by the Franciscans. The mission bells weren't put in place until 1906. And then by 1913, there were 450 bells marking the route in memory of the old highway. But by 1926, the bells were falling into disrepair. It took until 1996 when the California Department of Transportation began to fulfill the vision to restore them. And by 2012, the final restoration phase was complete from Los Angeles all the way up to Sonoma. 
Usually we like to make a stop after about two hours driving so Mark can stretch his legs and go to the bathroom. And usually I will check ahead of time by satellite to see where the rest stops are and how big they are. This time I didn't, but thank goodness we did see a sign for a rest stop. We were kind of surprised at what we ran into. Autos with trailers and trucks right. You can't even get through up there. And wait right here because somebody needs to back up and get out. Well, I, I can get through there. You're going to be on the expressway then. Yeah. yeah I know. You've got to let these cars on the right have the ability to back out. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to have to just fly through. If you have to pee, just park, run back, pee, and yeah. Do you want to go pee? Well, I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. I, I, I'll, you have to pee. I could. If it's a good idea, pee, pee. Go, go. You gonna watch? I'm watching. Nobody at back. One of the best parts of going in the diesel is being able to beep your horn. There's nobody around us. Yep. And then there's another thing I like to check before we hit the road is the exit going to the RV park we're heading to. I like to make sure we're not getting near any low bridges that make me nervous. Like this one, it didn't have any marking. That makes me nervous. But it is the exit it told us to go to to get to the RV park, so we assumed other RVs made it too. I just wish they'd marked the height. We stayed at the Pismo Coast Village RV Resort. It's a really nice RV park. It's actually got sites that are pretty nicely spaced apart. The one complaint we did read about on the review is that it's really tight getting in and really tight coming out. 
And as you can see, it really is, especially when you've got a big rig. Other than that, this was a great park. Another really nice thing about this park is it's within walking distance to the downtown and to the pier. It's less than a mile. So since we're here, we decided we're gonna just go ahead and take a walk and check things out and check out the sunset too. I think Mark is actually contemplating this. Nah, I think he's more studying it up. Oh, that's my Marco. Okay, go down it. Are you done playing now? <laughs> had fun in the scene. You know, I was going to go down it, but I read the sign. And all I can do is supervise people doing it because you'll notice that I don't fit the age demographics, but I do uh, fit. Oh. I, I could be a, an adult supervisor, but not a participant. Okay, oh, I'm glad you read that. Yeah, thanks, honey. I'm glad you didn't. What are you doing, Sue? Um, catching a sunset. Yeah. And watching somebody, oh, I, I was going to say, he didn't look like he had a wetsuit on. That yeah. water is freezing. So, don't you make enough uh, money on the old gym channel to uh, buy a tripod? <laughs> I have three of them. Did I bring it? Oh, you have a tripod. Yep. Mark. I got it in my hand right now. You want to use it? All right. Ten bucks. I got you. Like so. <laughs> So here's how Mark is different than Sue. You can see that Sue has got all of the expensive O-Gym equipment just being utilized to the max, just capturing this wonderful sunset that we will show you shortly. But here's where Mark and Sue differ. Check out how precarious Sue is with the end of the tripod oh my God. being so close to the edge of the table. The Chan Man would never do that. I'm gonna live on the edge, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah.